950 time for weekend break. Let's check back in with Christine Flores. Hey, Christine. John and Gaynor, good morning. We are in Waukegan where so many of the uh, varsity high school girls soccer teams have come together for this event, this tournament. Alma, you were a part of this when you were in high school, but now you volunteer here. What's it like for you? What's that role that this has played for you? So I think that whenever I got a chance to play in this tournament, it was very important to me. Um, I got to meet a lot of different girls and we were all getting together to make a difference in our communities. So being able to enforce that message and pass that message on to the young generation um, and be able to spread kindness overall. I, I love doing it. You know, we see some of the girls here behind us here who are going to take that field soon. Some girls already out on the field as well. What is it like to see all of this come together? So it's great. So, you know, the big idea of this is that there are competitors on the field, uh, teammates on the game of life. And I think it just plays into the message of we can all come together at some point to make a difference. And you never know when someone needs a buddy and all these girls are going to, you know, essentially go out into their communities and make a difference, um, even if they're competi competing on each other today. You know, for someone who may not be familiar today, they're not only competing for that trophy, but you know, also learning about giving back to their communities. We saw some of the bikes that they uh, will be putting together and giving back to people in need and, and just different different organizations as well. Right. So these girls are actually donating two bucks a piece as a team. Um, and with that, we're able to put together different surprises. We're actually on our 100th consecutive month of surprises. We've been able to donate bikes, scooters um, across different communities in the Chicago land area so it's just great to see them coming together for that purpose that is amazing if you were to put a number like how many teams are here today or will be coming through these fields so there's about 100 teams coming in today um, and there's about five thousand five thousand fans um, off the top of my head so it's a great event it's huge and we're just so happy to be part of it and just seeing everyone come in i mean like you know teams are checking in now and taking advantage of all the uh uh, tents that are here too. There's just so much more camaraderie to it too. Yeah, so it's great to see the parents come in with their kiddos um, and it's great for them to have, we have them fill out thank you cards um, that we're gonna send out throughout the year, just thanking people in their community for the impact that they make. Nice, and we also see a lot of the posters around the fence too, just highlighting some of those players that haven't been a, been a part of this organization, kind of brought it to what it is today. Yeah, it's great. So we actually have player posters up there from mostly seniors, right? But we have a couple other um, kids from each high school and we have a lot of action shots from things that we have done in the past over the years. Um, nice. We have people doing community service and this is just showcase for everyone to see. Thank you so much, Alma. We'll have more. We're gonna have more news coming up after the break.